Hello and welcome to Capella University School of Undergraduate Studies, IT 2230. This is for Unit 1, Assignment 1, Step 10, the last step. In the previous two steps, we created a form that's associated with the supplier table. Supplier form goes with supplier table. In this step, we're going to create a report that goes with the item table. So we start off by highlighting the table we're going to associate this with. We choose Create from the ribbon. If you were going to create a, for, a report from the Report Design Wizard, it would um, be pretty intuitive and walk you through it, and there's no point in me showing you how to do that. On the other hand, doing it from scratch, uh, which is what we're going to do, takes um, a little bit more instruction. So to, we've got the table highlighted. We choose Report, and voila, it populates. But when we look at how we're supposed to make our inventory report, we see, first of all, the title is going to be Inventory Report, and second, we only have four columns, Item Code, Description, On Hand, and Cost. So we come over here, we change the name of this to Inventory Report. We'll come back do the. Uh, we'll come back and do the formatting later. Now, let's highlight below this line. We highlight the entire area here, and we. This is the whole column, and we choose delete. And selling price is also not in this report, so we highlight below the horizontal line and we choose delete and it didn't get the whole thing so we go back and get it all there was no date nor was there time nor was there page information now let's see how we're looking close now we've got some formatting to do and before we go any further let's save this and we, because the title on the top of the page is Inventory Report, and because it doesn't say what to call this, we'll call it Inventory Report. We save that. And you'll notice that this database object, a report, is associated with this table. So they show up there together. Come back over here and highlight Inventory Report, and we can do some formatting. We can highlight, um, we can italicize, make it bold, and you'll notice over here, this looks like Time New Roman font, and this also, and the thickness of that line is about a two-point line. So let's come back over here, highlight the letters again, and we're going to choose Times New Roman. See if that looks approximately like what they have there. Not bad. Now, let's see if we can grab all of these at once. And we come over here and see if we can find the font for all of those. And we're going to change it from Calibri to Times New Roman. And there it is. And that changes all of those. Text align, and we're going to make it italicized, and we're going to make it bold. Okay. Now, again, let's save, and we're going to change the view to a layout view. No, take it back. We're going to change it to a design view. There we go. And in this design view, we're going to highlight just this uh, page header row. And with that highlighted, we'll choose Guidelines. And we're going to put a border on the bottom only of that line. We're going to specify the width as this width and make sure that it's black. Come back here and t make sure that that is bottom. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. And we are missing our alignment by a little bit. 
Let's go back to the layout view. And nope, let's go back to the design view. And in the design view, we're going to move the whole segment over. And whoops. Let's see what the alignment is. Okay. They don't have the cute little logo here, so we'll get rid of it out of ours. And there's the four-headed arrow. And we'll left align that with the rest of it. Now let's take a look and compare that with this. And you'll notice this looks like a sheet of paper whereas this does not. Right click on what you've got here and choose print preview and voila. Save your work and there you have a report called the inventory report associated with the item table and that is last of the 10 steps for the homework in unit 1 in IT 2230. A couple of things to point out here. We now have three kinds of database objects, two tables, one report, and one form, all inside a single database. When you turn in your homework for Unit 1, Assignment 1, all you'll turn in is birds to you underscore your last name, one database. From that, I will be able to see all of the database objects that you've done and see the results of you following the assignment steps that are associated with Unit 1 in IT 2230.